The new F-150 is up getting a canopy installed today, so I have a few hours to take care of some business while I'm up in Bellingham. And what better thing to do than to swing into fast cap? There's Tyler. Let's go see what he's working on. Hey, Tyler, how What's you doing? On? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Hopefully, I'm not sneaking up on you in something that's oh, top no, secret. Not, not super secret. No, nope. just working on a new project here, trying to uh, to optimize it. Our new third-hand cord holder. It's not really on the market yet. It looks like funny material. What is that? Yes, yeah, so these are actually 3D printed. We got a couple 3D printers right here, so I can just kind of whip up a model on the computer, 3D print it out, send it out to the inventor, see if he likes it. And if he does, then we can kind of send it off to go get an injection mold made or whatever we need okay, to do. Okay, so, okay, there, what, so. injection mold, what, what does that mean? Tell me yeah, what that is. Well, injection molding is a process of making plastic parts by heating up raw plastic and shooting it into a mold. Show me. This is a injection mold that we just got finished. This big, huge, on. heavy. Oh yeah, this is one of our bigger ones. This is for the glue caddy base. We do actually have one right here. It is this part right here there's two cavities of this in here you actually make all of this stuff right here at fast cap in ferndale oh yeah, oh, show, yeah. okay show me where show yeah, me so we got like 120 molds down here you can see them all on the bottom level down there those are all different plastic products that we make so we're making dually grommets now one of our more popular products this is what the raw plastic looks like that's the colorant and you can kind of see it in there. It's only so this 4%. is all kind of neutral, and then you just add in the colorant pellets. Exactly. So if there were, if you we were doing that lime green, I'd see little green little, ones. Little green specks in there, and then it gets dropped down into the barrel. So inside this barrel, well, first of all, it's wrapped in a bunch of heaters, gets it real hot, and then inside is a screw auger. So imagine a big screw in there that's spinning. Once there's a big molten mess of plastic in front of the barrel, then the screw doesn't spin and it shoots forward and pushes all that plastic into the mold. So that big thing he showed me back over there, that's that big, so that's the mold. You yep. change those out. Yep, we got a big crane that comes over overhead. We can swap it out in about 15 minutes. And now it's gonna open up and you'll see it in there. And then the ejector system comes out and pushes it out. And here we are. Here is some plastic dually grommet. Back at your computer over there, I saw you working on designs and you have 3D printers. So you can come up with this idea yeah. and then print it out, which yeah. is probably a slow, tedious process, but you get to work the bugs out. Yep, exactly. You get to test fit stuff. You get to know if it's going to work, see if anything's too weak, if it's going to break, or if it's not going to fit. You need to change the dimension here or there. The 3D printers are great because because you can make one. You don't have to invest anything into it except for the plastic, but you can just make one at a time. You don't need to make a mold and make a million at a time like this. So, so after you get it all figured out, then it, you yeah. make your mold. You invest the money in yeah. that, and then you got this stuff. That is fantastic. Yep, exactly. Okay, you showed us a new tool that you're working on that's not on the market yet. Yeah. You got anything really cool and new that you can show me I, that yeah. is available? I do, I do actually. Let's take a look at the super reel. My favorite thing, wood shop. I like that sign. <laughs> Come on, step into my office here. So here, we got this bad boy, the super reel. So this holds about 50, 60 feet of shop back hose. It's got a nice swivel cup over here. So here's your normal input and it just plugs in right there swivels you don't need to have any so it's already it's already like plugged that. in in the middle you don't need to unplug it to reel it up exactly so okay. the cool part about this is we sell the side pieces and the hardware and depending on how much hose you have you can make these two by fours bigger or smaller so the customer so provides datoed out for a two by four and you exactly. just make whatever length you want exactly all you got to do is slip it in the pocket put a screw that we provide in on the side and you can make this any size. I mean, you can make this eight foot long if you want hundreds of feet of hose, or if you have a big long pool so hose the bracket or something like that. Everything. You, so even the bracket on the wall is two by four. Yep. So that's just the number of two by fours. Yep. So you got any is, different sizes? Yeah, but this one's actually made with one two by four, one eight foot two by four, made this size of one. So that's kind of our standard, but we did make a smaller one. We made the two by fours really skinny. So you can see in there, it's just some little short guys. And, and that the, one, uh, the back one as well. And you've got that one side mounted. Yep, we mounted this one straight through the side panel into the side of this. 
we're kind of cramped in space over here and we didn't want to so it's not you're not choosing a side mount versus a back mount you just mounted it different same product just screw it right into the side here and it works great and we so actually, any old shop back is plugged in all the time yep and we cut a hole right in the wall right there plugs right in here's the swivel cuff again this is our normal shop bag instead of trying to you know wrap yourself up in it just got a nice handle here oh, oh. I swear it's easier <laughs> So go. necessity, the mother of invention. You guys needed something in this shop, exactly. and that's what you came out with. We actually got one more over there. Every morning, part of the culture here is we all clean the facility. We all have chores around the facility. And one of those chores that we all switch off on is vacuuming the shipping area up here. Now we used to have a shop back there with another 20, 30 feet of hose that would just be wrapped around the shop back and it would be kind of a mess. And so we had to clean this whole area with one shop back and so we decided that would be another perfect place for the super reel. So you see here, this is actually one of our earlier versions. So the other one had a, a like an aluminum metal handle. Yep. What does it come with? Yep, it comes with the aluminum handle. We get okay. them made here in Bellingham. If you give it a good pull, it'll just reel itself out. It won't stop because these bearings are so smooth. So what we did is we actually made this, the weight of this wheel lopsided by cutting out a bunch of these holes. So now it's lighter on this end and heavier on this end. And so that kind of gives it a, a lobe action. So it wants to kind of stop itself when it's slowing down. And it is available now, it can it be ordered. It is available on our website, fastcat.com. You can call the super reel, you can pick one up today. It comes with a little kit. Maybe once a month or so, if it's not too much, I drop in and you show me something new. Yeah, I could definitely do that. You do that? Yeah, Excellent. I think that'd be awesome. Love having you guys here. Tyler, thanks for the time. Yeah, of course, Look Ron. Look forward to seeing you in a month or so. Yeah, sounds good. See you in a couple weeks.